As the WSL transfer deadline takes place, here are some of the biggest transfers as we head towards kickoff on the 1st of October. Arsenal have made some big changes as we head into this season with Alessia Russo being a key name to join this side from Manchester United. The club also signed Swedish superstar Amanda Ilstadt, who was the Golden Boot winner for Sweden at the World Cup. The Gunners have also made a last minute signing from Matilda Kyra Cooney Cross, who heads over from Hammerby. The Gunners have recruited Chloe Lacasse from Benfica and Laia Codina from Barcelona, who was a key defender in Spain's Women's World Cup victory. Chelsea made a few big moves signing Canadian defender Lawrence and former Leon forward Katarina Macario, who has been considered one of the best players out of the US for some time. Brighton have been busy signing 10 new players with a statement signing of former Barcelona captain, Arsenal and City midfielder Vicky Lozada. With the departure of Russo, Ville, Borisa and Hansen, Manchester United have signed World Cup Golden Boot winner Miyazawa and Brazilian star Yeze. At the final whistle of deadline day, Mary Earps also confirmed that she will be staying at Manchester United despite being linked with a move to Arsenal. Man City have had just one signing, bringing in World Cup winner Jill Rod, who returns to the WSL from Wolfsburg. A huge name in women's football and a welcomed addition to the league. 14 Australians will also be making their first or continued WSL appearances. In addition to Kyra Cooney Cross at Arsenal, we have Charlie Rule and Mackenzie Hawkesbury who signed with Brighton. And Courtney Nevin and Tegan Micah signed with Leicester and Liverpool respectively. There is no better time to get around the WSL. So who's your favourite signing? Did you enjoy that? There's so much more, so why not hit subscribe and download the Optus Sport app.